perimeter's been breached. Dismissed. Yeah, security's been breached too, soldier. All right, you two, stay here, guard the door. That's it? This is enough? Trust me, it's plenty. Don't we need protective suits? Not if you're careful. By then, take this, give this to Shadi. Miat, grab the other. Can't do anything for him. It's some pretty mean shit, huh? He is my friend. No, he was your friend. That guy should have worn a suit. Get a grip, Aladdin. His name is Faden. It's gonna be mud if he's as clumsy as your buddy. Let's go. Please be very careful. Let's go! On my mark, three, two, one, mark.
You're up, Slater. Go deep. How you doing? Mm, it's been better. Well, maybe you should try ankle weights. Why don't you try a catcher's mitt? Oh, thanks. Slater, you dickhead! You couldn't catch flies if you were covered in dog shit. Hey, Bruce, man, you couldn't hit water if you're in the middle of the ocean. If you get your fingers on the ball, you might be able to catch it. What's that? You're the quarterback. You're supposed to throw the ball to me, not a mile over my head. I threw it where you were supposed to be. All right, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was supposed to be in the next state. Oh, you little pussy. Don't throw your arm out, we need you, man. The only thing I'm gonna be throwing out is you. I've seen you throw, it's not much of a threat. Son of a bitch. Get off! Let it go. All right, bring it on, Bruce, come on. All right. Time's up, boys, everybody hit the shower. You got lucky, you little prick. I'll catch up to you later. It's a date then. Great way to start my day. Jenny, wait up, wait up. You got a minute? No, nope. late for physics. Well, slow down, slow down, and I'll walk you. Walk me? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not a Doberman. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, what's up? All right. Okay, here's the deal. Look, I, I was wondering if you had a date for the homecoming dance. Why, are you taking a poll? <laughs> Ouch. Gosh, you're not a Doberman? <laughs> okay, okay, I deserve that. But before you say anything else, you should know I have a rule about dating jocks. That's okay, and so do I. I'm serious. Me too. I tell you what, I right, take a chance. Look, I'll break my rule if you break yours. Ooh, sorry, I'm a compulsive rule follower. That could be a problem. But, uh, you know, technically, you know, I'm not really a jock. I know, I've seen you play. Ouch! <laughs> God, well, wait a sec, you, you are a jock. No, 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 no. I'm a physics major. Ah. That athletic scholarship is the only way I could afford to come here. But because I'm not a boy and a football player, it only pays for half of my tuition. 
So, in between classes, track practice, and my part-time job, I don't have much time for a social life. Oh, <laughs> besides, I think you already have a date. Hey, hey what is it? Yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Slater! You faggot, you stay right there! Ooh, I don't know. Let me think for a minute. Oh, maybe. Let me think. Uh, I'll get back to you. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get it. Wait. Take attendance on the bus. Come on. I told you I'd get back to you. I'm impressed. You're not dead. Are you impressed enough to go out with me? You would have to cure cancer and win a Pulitzer for me to be that impressed. Man, you're a tough room. All right, so uh, where are we going? We're going to the water and power plant. See, it's not where I have chose to take you on our first date, but it could work, it could work. <sighs> You're impossible. Slater, you in my seat. McGinnis, take a seat. He's in my seat. There are plenty of others. Just pick one so we can get going. Are you in this class? No, he's not. Uh, yes, I am. You see, I was thinking about, you know, declaring physics as my major, and so the department told me I was allowed to sit on your class because they said your class was the best. I see. What luck, huh? My luck's about to run out. Excuse me, excuse me. Me and my date are trying to have a private conversation, okay? Mr. McGinnis, can we at least try to act our age? Please. What do you want? Shut up. You got a public address system here, right? Yes, of course. Good. Get on it. Gather everyone up. You got a hearing problem? I know I'm talking because I recognize my voice. You, uh, you, you don't understand. I can't just have everybody abandon their stations. 
We have systems here that have to be monitored constantly. No, it's you that doesn't understand. If you don't do what I say, this lovely young lady right here is going to blow your brains all over that wall. Now, I know you heard me that time, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you. I'll do anything you say. <laughs> I know you will. Attention all plant employees. Attention all plant employees. Please stop what you are doing immediately and report to Section C. This is an emergency. Repeat, this is an emergency. All personnel, please report to Section C immediately. <laughs> they can't mean us. They mean us? You said everybody. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Ah, damn phone's not. Hey, why don't you um go downstairs, find what's going on? I'll uh, take care of things up here. I can I can do it. You sure? Go! Go! Silencio, por favor! I'll, I'll tell you, just a second, as soon as everyone settles. Spit it out! Thank you. Now I suggest everyone sit down and be quiet. Good morning. Good morning. Plant Director Ramos is expecting us. I'm sorry, the plant is closed for today. Closed? Look, can you please check your clipboard? We're from Ridgefield University. Sorry, there are no civilians allowed. Come on, Jenny, I asked you first. You did? Yeah, that's right. I'm fasting you on and off the field. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't brag about your premature problem if I was you. Hey, screw you, Slater. <laughs> I think you're both being a little premature here. I haven't agreed to go with the dance to either one of you. I understand, I understand. You, you need time to let Bruce down gently. Oh, screw you, Slater. You need a new catchphrase. I'm sorry, the plant is closed for today. And I'm not leaving until I speak with Director Ramos. Wait here, please. You must not be on the A-list. Hey, check that out. Check what out, loser. It looked like an AK-47. How would you know? My dad's a New York cop. Oh, well, that makes you a gun expert? No, it's, I've done some shooting, all right? Aren't assault rifles illegal? Yes. Mohammed Mohammed Turkey. Sayara food? What? Well, tell them we have a broken steam valve. What's going on? There's a busload of college students at the front gate. Give me that. Speak. There is a certain Professor Harris here who insists on speaking to the plant director. All right, put him on. 
Professor Harris is a woman, a very pushy woman. Hello, Mr. Ramos. Yes, Professor Harris. How can I help you? I arranged this trip with your regional manager uh -huh. over a month ago, and he assured me uh -huh. we would be given your full cooperation. Yes, I see. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ramos. Yes, could you put the guard back on the line, please? Thank you. Let them in, direct them to Section C. Very good. Are you crazy? What do we need more hostages for? Well, number one, until our plan is in full motion, I do not want to do anything to arouse any suspicions. And number two, the younger the hostages are, the less likely it will be that the authorities will try anything stupid. It's bad PR for the U.S. government to be gunning down innocent college kids. It's beautiful. Tell me you didn't see him? Okay, people. I don't need to remind you to conduct yourselves in an orderly fashion, do I? Excuse me, Professor Harris. Yes. Look, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but uh all right here, just look. I'm sure I saw I saw a guy lying behind the garbage cans out there, and he looked he looks sort of dead. You saw a body? That's right, only in his underwear. In his underwear? That's right, that's right. And, and you know, security guard, you know, I saw he had an AK-47 in that little room. Uh-huh, an AK-47 assault rifle? That's right, that's right. What is your name again? Slater, Lenny Slater. Slater, Lenny Slater. <laughs> Aren't you the young practical joker who parked Coach Asbell's new Cadillac in the middle of the gymnasium? That wasn't me, okay, I swear. That's right. They couldn't prove a thing, even though everyone knew he did it. Look, Mr. Slater, I don't know quite what you're up to here, but I can assure you, you are not going to disrupt my class with your juvenile attempts at witticism. Look, I just think we should... Young man, I'm going to ask you to remain on the bus while we conduct our tour. You can take your seat now. But wait a sec... Thank you. You're such a loser, Slater. I'm the one who parked Coach's car in the gym. It's one of your famous comebacks now, smartass. All right, people, let's go. Good. Keep your eye on him. Carve her out. Okay, let's go. This is it. Are you prepared? I've been waiting for this my whole life. And I thought you'd been waiting for me your whole life. All right, if anyone tries anything... Kill them. It would be my pleasure. Hey, what exactly does shun, shun's air mean? The literal translation is pig, but it is actually something far more unflattering than that. She is quite a gal. Where'd you find her? She is my sister. Oh, I, I should have noticed the family resemblance. You both have the same machine guns. But she's got that 
extra pair of 38s. <laughs> hey! Don't get any funny ideas, Yankee. She will kill you in an instant if I tell her to. Relax, Mo, old buddy. I didn't mean any disrespect. Hell, if my sister looked that good, I'd keep her heavily armed, too. <laughs> know what I mean? The name is Momad. Fadim, Abdul, Assis. Let's get to work. Trust me? I better. All right. All we have to do take this little bit back to your country and add water and we can make as much as we want it's that concentrated that's the beauty of this stuff it's some special compound strain multiplies itself in water once we drop this into the reservoir this whole place will be one big nerve gas oasis pumping death through the water taps to everyone in the city is there an antidote not once you've been infected. That's why the compound was rigged with a self-destruct firebomb. where the energy from the fossil fuels is converted into alternating electrical currents. In these generators is where the electromagnetic induction occurs. Step this way, please. We'll be visiting the reclamation pits next, and I want to remind you to all stay close together. This facility is a huge maze, and you could find yourself easily lost in What is it now, Bruce? I don't get it. Why won't you go to the homecoming dance with me? I told you I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Your jobs, midterms. Yada, yada, yada. Well, not everybody can skate through on a full scholarship. Yeah, I know. So, we go into the dance or what? <laughs> I don't get you guys. What part of no don't you understand? I know that no usually means maybe, and maybe usually means yes. Ah, okay, so you think I'm just playing hard to get. I think your mind is telling you one thing and your uh, body is telling you something else. Well, uh, why don't you listen real closely to what my body is saying now? Oh, great, which way did they go? The electricity produced from the generators then goes through these. Oh, e excuse me. Everyone into the pit! Wait, just, just a minute. Do it now! What was that? What? It sounded like gunshots. Gunshots? The explosive would not destroy the virus? 
It's a concussion grenade. No flame, just smoke and shrapnel. Enough to punch a hole in the case and send it to the bottom of the reservoir. Perfect. Medim, I want you and Assis to plant the rest of the charge. Set the timers for five hours. This must be it. Alpha One, HQ, come in. Go ahead, Alpha One. We found the vehicle. Uh, it's by a gravel pit just off Highway 45, maybe 10 miles north of Route 22. Let's get an investigation unit out here ASAP. Affirmative, Alpha One. Oh, and Colonel? Yeah. The Pentagon suspects a collaborator. They're sending an FBI profiler to go over our personnel files. That figures. All right, uh, stall them as long as you can. Yes, sir. Over and out. Let's get this show on the road, huh? Right now. Hi, I have information about the explosion at Fort Sullivan. Let me through to the investigating officer, please. Take a wild guess. I don't have time for games. Think Persian Gulf, February 91. Sergeant Max Carver. I was hoping G2 would make you the point man on this little mission. It's been a long time, Colonel. Not long enough. I figured you went up with a compound last night. <laughs> Wishful thinking, huh? So sorry to disappoint you. Got the crap, Carver. Have you got the goods or not? Well, first things first, Colonel. You should know I'm calling on behalf of the Iraqi nationalist regime. The INR was disbanded two years ago. We're a splinter group. We? You know, treason is still a capital offense, Sergeant. Well, you're the expert on betrayal, Colonel. Now, do you want to hear our demands, or do I have to do something nasty? All right. Say what you have to say. We are in control of the Ridgefield Water and Power Plant. Unless Kalmed Faruka is released immediately, we will drop the VX solution into the city's water supply. I don't even know where Faruka's being held. Don't insult me, Colonel. Okay? Don't insult me. You think it's a coincidence we picked Ridgefield? All right. I'm gonna need some time. You got four hours to deliver him to the gates of the plant. Four hours? Are you insane, Carver? No. No, just incredibly happy-go-lucky. Oh, and in case you're... Thinking of storming the facility? Just 
bear in mind that we have all the employees hostage, as well as a group of local college students on a, <laughs> on a really unfortunate field trip. You know what kind of red tape I'm going to have to cut through to get a federal prisoner released from a maximum security penitentiary? Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. Hey, it's nice talking to you. Have a nice day, Colonel. Carver? Carver! What did he say? Well, you know, the usual. Don't be a stranger. Let's do lunch. I'll have my people call your people. <laughs> Let's go! Chance those guys. Max, will they comply with our demands? Maybe. Maybe not. Then again, it doesn't really matter, does it? Go check it out. One of them had an army fatigues. Yeah, he's not the only one. So what? There's got to be some logical reason for all this. Yeah, terrorists took over the plant. Oh, shit. What? Lenny, this isn't some kind of elaborate practical joke, is it? Yeah, I wish it was. Oh, get off it, Slater. What are terrorists doing in Ridgefield? Oh, shit. Oh, you are tripping, dude. Hey! Yo, excuse me! Shoot! Don't shoot! Hi. Just chill out, dude. I'm just trying to find my butts. How many more of your buds are around here, Junior? Look around. Let's go. They've escaped out of the elevator to the upper catwalks. Find them. Don't let them get away. Hi, honey. I'm home. You miss me? Let's go sit down. McGinnis, you're all right. What's going on here? They won't tell us. Vadim, Assis, where are you? We are in Section A. Almost done. Assis, Charlie, in the generator room. There are some stray hostages. We are on our way. Professor, you were told to sit down. Williams is free. Colonel Gentry! 
I'm Special Agent Diana Woods with the FBI. I've been assigned to advise you on behalf of the Bureau. Yeah, well, sorry you took the ride all the way out here for nothing. Uh, we're dealing with a stolen substance way above your security clearance. I've already been thoroughly briefed on the VX-1249, as well as the compound personnel. And I've narrowed your collaborator down to three possibilities. Sergeant Ben Motley, Corporal Nathan Hauer, and uh, Sergeant Max... Carver. You sound certain. He called me. How'd you pick him up? I'm a trained psychologist. I graduated in the top 10% of my class. I've got eight years psychoanalytical field experience. Well, you might be of some use to me after all. Where are we going? Ridgefield, power and water. Does your field experience include any hostage negotiation? No, sir, not really. Does now. Well? This is a bureau car. That really makes me the one who should... Wait here. Him or us? So how did you get mixed up in this whole terrorism thing, anyway? I mean, I know it's, you know, a family deal, but... Momad, come in. Come in, Momad. Yes, Padim, have you taken care of the stray hostages? They are not hostages. They must be enemy agents, but they have killed Shahli and Aziz. Find them. Do whatever you must, but I want them dead. Do you understand? Yes, my leader. You can count on me. You want me to take care of no, them? No, I want you here. So do I. <laughs> Very well. There are some enemy agents inside the compound already. Leave the guard shack and assist Fadim in finding them.
Abdul, come in. Yes, Mohammad. Status report. The enemy is moving into position around the perimeter, just as you said. Yes, I know. Keep your eyes out. There are some infiltrators inside the facility already. It is done. I will guard our objective with my life. Very well. Go with God. Calls are being routed through the communications van. Have you made contact with the penitentiary? I think we should discuss that, Colonel. Woods, I thought you were here to assist me. You're not seriously considering answering their demands. Do you have any idea what would happen if they release that compound into the water supply? I have a fair idea. Fair idea. Regardless, that, that doesn't mean we suddenly start ignoring national policy on terrorists. Again. Don't be so naive, Agent Woods. We ignore policies all the time. Didn't they teach you anything about fishing at the FBI? Fishing? In order to catch the big ones, you gotta have the right bait. Hop to it, soldier. Get me the warden ASAP. The hostages. What's going on out there, Gentry? How the hell should I know? I got a bunch of trigger-happy weekend warriors out here with their heads up their asses. How's your ulcer, Colonel? Still act up on you when you get tense. Screw you, Carver. <laughs> no, thanks. I didn't enjoy it that much last time. I didn't screw you. You screwed yourself. No! No, you sent me out into a hot LZ, and then you left me there. Do you read me? You left me! You missed your extraction rendezvous. You knew what the risks were when you joined the covert ops. Well, as much as I'd like to reminisce about the old days, Colonel, I think it's about time you called off your men and had them surrender to us. Well, you got me there, tough guy. Much as I'd like to say we do, we have no personnel in or on the grounds. You still hanging your men out to dry, huh? Okay. Well, you know what our demands are. You got less than two hours to deliver. Yeah. Kalmed Faruka. We're working on it. So that's it. We give you Faruka, you give us the goods and the hostages. Something like that. So what are they paying you, Max? What's the going rate for selling out your country? You just have a jet standing by with enough fuel for a five-hour journey and safe transport to the airport. I'll be talking to you. Bet your ass we'll be talking.
Carver served under you in Desert Storm? Missed that during your thorough review of the files, did you? This means you've got to step down from this operation immediately. Forget it. His obvious hatred of you can only inflame the entire situation. The only thing being inflamed is my ulcer. All right, which one of you military geniuses ordered your men to fire? Is there a way out of here? No, you just came in the only way out of here. Now get moving or I have to call security. No, 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 there's guys out there with guns. Well, good, then security's already here. Now just, just no, get away. Can I just explain? No, 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 let me explain <laughs> something to you. Just back up. Just get away from the door. Okay, get away from the door. Gun, just burn your, your eyes up. No. Can I talk to you for just a second? Stand back, stand back. Yeah, 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 yeah. See what's going on. Alone at last. Don't count on it. We just got a report of an explosion in the plant. Bad. Our ultrasound team said it wasn't very big. They can hear the generator beginning to surge. Call the Pentagon. Get them to fax me a copy of Carver's psychiatric evaluation. He was in G2. He should have one. Maybe we can get him to come out here and lie down on a couch for you. I'm beginning to think he just might do it. You asked him how much he was being paid. I don't think he's doing it for the money. Oh, no? Then why is he doing it? You tell me. Life, though. I've never even touched a gun before. You didn't have a choice, Jenny. Where are we going? Water plant. What? Well, shouldn't we find a way out of here? I uh, overheard this guy's talking. I mean, they said they were gonna poison all the water. We gotta stop them. We? Yeah, I... Are you crazy? Jenny, I don't see anybody else coming to a rescue here. The, the, the soldiers outside must have some kind of plan. We could be ruining the whole thing. You can't take that chance. What about the hostages? We just can't leave them there. Oh, shit. Come on. Go, go, go. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't be long now. What's the matter with you, babe? Cat got your tongue? Why do you persist in trying to engage me in foolish conversation? Hey, man, I am just trying to break the ice. Did your mother ever talk to you about the birds and the bees? 
Is this what passes for charm in your country? No. Money passes for charm in my country. And pretty soon, I'm gonna have plenty of that. And then I'm supposed to throw myself at you? Well, I don't know. You might, once you get to know me. I don't want to know you, May One. You're a fool, you repulse me, and I don't trust you. You don't trust me. You don't trust me. You know, if it wasn't for me, this whole operation would have gone down the toilet a long time ago. For one, you are an American, and I hate Americans. Two, you are a traitor to your own country, and I hate traitors even more. So it's not that you don't trust me. <laughs> you just hate me. You see, we're already relating like an old married couple. I, I love this. Why do you make a joke about everything? Why do you take everything so seriously? Because this is my moment of truth. I've waited my entire life for an operation such as this. And I thank my brethren for the opportunity to die as a martyr. For our country, for our leader, and our cause. <laughs> Honey, you're not gonna die. When we get to your country, we're gonna be heroes. Mujnun. You really are a fool, aren't you? Train the enemy agents. They kill Fatem. Find them. Very well. Where are you going? Water tank. But he went that way. I know. Hold on. Oh, hold this. time. Cardinal Gentry. What a pleasant surprise. Some guy's guarding it. I'm calling the cops. Good idea. It's ringing. It's 
speak. Yes. H Hello, who is this? This is Agent Carver with the FBI. Who's this? It's the FBI. Um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm in the, wa the water power plant, and um, I'm, I'm with a friend. We, we were on a school trip. Yes, we know all about that. Tell me, exactly where are you? Well, we're, we're, we're near the, um, the, the water tanks. You tell them about the guy. Yeah, the, 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 there's, there's some guy, and, and he's guarding some kind of box, and he's near the water treatment pool, and he's got a gun. It's a nerve gas. All right, listen very carefully to me now. Don't move. Stay exactly where you are. You're in grave danger. We will try to get you out as soon as we can. What should we do? Don't do anything. How did you get this phone number? I got it from one of the terrorists. I, I, I dialed 911. It must have been on speed dial or something. Well, it's probably the one they were using to negotiate. All right. Hold on to it and keep it on at all times in case we need to reach you. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, um... No, yeah, I, I understand. Okay, we'll be in touch. Please hurry. Don't worry. We will. Everything's gonna be okay. They're on their way. Some of those college kids, somehow they got hold of Mohammed's phone. And they're holed up in an exit tunnel over near their water treatment plant. I'll take care of them. Wait! Please! Don't hurt them. They're just kids. They've killed two of our men. No, that's got to be a mistake. Don't go after them, please. Very touching. I'll tell them of your concern before I kill them. Jenny, run! Hey! Uh. Hey, 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 sweetheart. You don't have a real grasp on this whole hostage concept, do you? Alive, they're valuable bargaining chips. They're no good to us dead. Could you practice a little restraint with your trigger finger, okay? Understood. Okay. FBI. I don't know, something sounds really weird to me. What the hell did you want them to say? Kill the terrorists and dismantle the bomb? You know, we're the only ones who can. Abdul, come in. This is Abdul, go ahead. Yeah, be advised, there are two undesirables by the catwalk exit near you. Yes, I can see them. Shit, I didn't know where we were. Stay at your post. We'll deal with them. I understand. That sounds like the FBI agent I was just talking to. Oh, that answers my question. I think they just saw me and ducked back. It's all right. Elia's on her way. Just be aware of them. Shoot. Oh, my God, we're sitting ducks. I understand. Abdul out. Relax. Relax. Just gonna think. 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 Come on. Just college kids, huh? Come in, Nomad. Yes, Elia? What is it? I found Muhammad. He's dead. Very well. Meet me at the water treatment tank. Understood. It worked. We're behind him. They go. They were there a moment ago. Go, go. What's that? There they go. Ilya, come with me. Go that way. I'll go this way.
bastards. Drop the gun. Slowly. Really slowly. Atta girl, take it easy. Yeah. Drop it. Get up and turn around. Slowly. Faruka. Any funny stuff? You're the first to go. I promise you that. You forget, Colonel, that I am and have always been quite ready to die for my cause. If you screw this up, you're gonna get your big chance. It's showtime. All right, let's go. He's here. Let me come with you. No, we need you to watch the hostages. Don't worry. You'll see your husband soon enough. Husband? Yes, Kalmed Baruka is my husband. Well, of course you realize this means our engagement is off. Let's rock. You need to let me handle this, Colonel. Negative. Carver Psychiatric Evaluation is a textbook case of sociopathic paranoia and megalomaniacal delusions. You picked all that up out of one file even though the army shrinks missed it? I don't think they missed it. I think that's why they put them in covert ops in the first place. Sociopaths make perfect operatives. They blend in anywhere and can kill without hesitation because they don't feel pity, compassion, or remorse. About the only emotion they do feel is hatred. And when that comes to a boil, not even they can control it. Carver is a ticking time bomb, and you are the fuse. Well, unfortunately, Agent Woods, we haven't got time to discuss your little theory with the experts. I am the expert. And I know Carver. Okay, Gentry, send him over. Not so fast, Sergeant. This is supposed to be a trade. Well, we'll hand over the gas when he's over here with us. Negative, soldier. It's not the way it's gonna be. Take it or leave it, Colonel. Don't push him. Let me ask you something, Carver. What's in this for you? You really wanna be a martyr for someone else's cause? I have no intention of being a martyr. How about your friends? What's their intention? Don't listen to him. Well, you know, your sister did say to me she was here to die. My sister is young and idealistic. It's part of her training. I tell you what, you don't worry about me, Colonel. I have my own cause. Jesus Christ, Carver, you still whining about that goddamn war? I thought you were a soldier, not a sniveling little schoolgirl. Do you have any idea what I had to do to survive? Eat bugs, drink my own piss, live in a hole on the ground with the enemy all around me? The enemy's still all around you, Carver, but you're too stupid to even hide from them. No, no. I'm smart enough to realize that everybody is my enemy. That puts you out there pretty much by yourself, doesn't it, Max? I am warning you, you are pushing him too far. Don't listen to him, my friend. You shut up! You're not my friend. That's right, Max. None of these people are your friends. They're using you. Like you used me. Max! Don't listen to him. He's trying to confuse you. You shut up, too! That's right, Max. I used you. You were a 
Eager little gung-ho warrior. Thought you were invincible. I put you out on a suicide mission because you're the only guy in my command that I knew would never be missed. You pathetic, dickless little loser, you. You're gonna send him over or not? Negative. Fine. Then keep it. Oh, 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 now you understand. Now you understand. Oh, no! This shit is fun, isn't it? Ready alert and in position. We're going in. So much for peaceful negotiations. Abdul, come in. Yes, my leader, come in. Prepare for your moment of truth. Yes, my leader. Shukran. Thank you. This is it. You know what to do? Yeah. All right. I guess the engagement's back on. What? Oh, yeah, Farouk is dead. Your brother screwed everything up. It's just you and me now, just like it ought to be. And I know the greatest little seaside resort down in Mexico, it's perfect for a honeymoon. Yeah! Oh, party's over, Momad. Party's over. Say hello to Allah for me. Go ahead. Shoot me. You kill us all. Oh. Go ahead! Oh, we got us a Mexican standoff, or as they say in Mexico, a standoff. Elia, what are you doing? Oh. Are you crazy? You might have killed me! I still might. Hey, you!
Take it, get the bomb! Explosion by the water treatment tank. Beaker is intact. Repeat, the beaker is intact. Looks like a couple of kids have got it. Command center to ultrasound. What's the status on the generator search? We're taking a reading now. <sighs> Shouldn't we get rid of that thing? There's more of this stuff. We gotta get it. like a hero. It was to be expected. I was hoping we would die side by side. But at least we will get to die together. I'm sorry, Elia. My mission is not yet complete. We've contaminated the water. What else is there? This! I must bring it back to our homeland. There are other battles to be won. And me? Elia, this is your moment of truth. You know what you must do. Perhaps I should take this back. I wouldn't want to spoil your moment of truth. Elia, what are you doing? You must follow your orders. Now give that to me. Are you afraid to die? What are you saying? Of course I'm not afraid to die! It's, it's just not my time. Now give that to me! You should kill us all! So be it! We need that to complete our mission!
Take that off your hands. It's a pleasure. Hey, Phil. Nice catch there. Nice throw, man. I guess I'm gonna be out for the season, huh? Looks that way. Oh. Is that all uh, you guys think about, is football? <laughs> it's not all we think about. <laughs> hey, oh. how about that dance, huh? Hey, hey, wait a second. I thought you said you don't go out with jocks. I think we should uh, skip the dance. <laughs>